So I said, what's your advice to parents? And they said, please tell them that reminders are good, nagging is not. If I ask you to check my spelling and maybe my grammar, it doesn't mean I want you to rewrite the paper. My room is my temple. There's a difference between pressure and motivation. Please let me make mistakes. Just because you were wild doesn't mean I'm going to murder someone or get someone pregnant. <laughs> and I love this one. This one is really profound. Please listen instead of thinking up the next thing you're going to say. Ask about my life, not just my grades. Say, how are you? And then they said, one said, keep doing what you're doing, but calm down. And then the next thing has, was said in every single school I visited and talked to the kids, everyone. Please tell them to take a chill pill. Please tell them to chillax. Tell them to take a chillax pill. <laughs> so I leave you with just two thoughts. One is don't hang out with a bad crowd. And a bad crowd is a brag-planing mom, for example. So a brag-planing is someone who brags and complains. This is Olivia's mom. And she says stuff like, you know, the coach begged her. She's just a sophomore. But the coach begged her to be on the varsity tennis team. How could we say no? I think she gets five hours of sleep a night. She's always up when we go to sleep and up in the morning, before we get up, she makes breakfast for everyone. <laughs> She's sort of a bionic girl. Did you know that she created a microfund NGO to help women in Colombia? Because those women always say it like that, Colombia. <laughs> Start their own businesses. And it does look like Stanford will be recruiting her for the diving team. This woman is lying. She is lying like her daughter lies. Think of her as a fear-mongering headline. <laughs> and think of the beautiful poetry of Rainier Rilke, who, who wrote once, the, he wrote this in a letter to a friend, once the realization is accepted that even between the closest human beings, infinite distances continue, a wonderful living side by side can grow if they succeed in loving the distance between them, which makes it possible to see each other whole against the sky. And finally, the parenting wisdom of the great, great blues man, John Lee Hooker, who in one of his songs has this lyric. One night I was lying down, I heard mama and papa talking. I heard papa say to mama, let that boy boogie woogie. Let that boy boogie woogie, cause it's in him and it's got to come out. This is true for kindergarten Trevor, true for his parents. We all have to boogie woogie. Thank you very much.